everybody, and welcome to episode 36 of Sailing Alley Cat. Hey, folks. I know when we ended the last episode, I told you guys that we were going to be doing an upcoming episode about our bow thruster because our boat got hit by lightning and knocked out several of, several of our electronics, and the bow thruster was one of those. And like all projects, it didn't go as quickly as we thought it would. So therefore, I'm not. I, I don't have that video for you right now, but we're working on it. We're just about got yeah. it finished up and it's going along really well. But in the meantime, I thought I would go ahead and do something else. I had an opportunity to do a boat tour for a friend of ours that is actually selling their boat. So I thought you guys might be interested in touring the boat and hey, it's free advertisement for them as well. So hey, it works for both of us. So come along in this episode and let me take you on a tour of a beautiful Hunter 466. Yep. It's a nice boat. Very nice boat. And I wouldn't be videotaping it and I wouldn't be bringing it to you if I couldn't back it up with my word. These are good people and they've taken excellent care of this boat and it is an awesome boat. So take a look at it and enjoy the tour. All right, that should work. Let's be honest here. Since you were a small child, you've dreamed of big adventure on the high seas. Well, guess what? This is the day. This is the day that you can make that dream come true. Your mom and dad are fine people and you want to make them proud. Just imagine the look on their faces when you take them down to the marina and show them this. Just look at these beautiful families enjoying their beautiful boats. You too can be this happy. Before, none of your relatives would come to see you. But look at the cousins you never knew you had until you bought this boat. Next thing you know, you're on a beautiful beach in the Bahamas watching the sun set and personally in charge of roasting 400 marshmallows for all your new best friends. And you don't even know who this one belongs to. You're just glad she's having fun. Oops, how'd she get in here? Even though it was a miracle they said it would never happen, you even found your long lost grandma. And just as soon as she gets out of rehab, we're certain she's going to be a delight in your life. And this is your Christmas card next year. You and your beautiful wife on the front of your new boat in the Bahamas. Happy Holidays to you! Now what do you say we just get on with a tour of your new boat? So, I just heard through the grapevine that this beautiful boat here is for sale. And I just happen to have one of the owners here with me, Leslie. Leslie, tell us a little bit about this boat. This is finally, she is a 2004 Hunter 466. She has a 14 foot wide beam. She's got extra high ceilings inside, which make her cabin really comfortable, even for the taller guys. The original owners purchased her from the Annapolis Boat Show but not until 2006. This was the show queen for the Annapolis Boat Show that Hunter Marlowe used as their demo boat. So her original owners used her like a weekend dinner cruise boat. She never left the Chesapeake Bay and she was only in the water during the best premium sailing season in the summertime and she was removed, hauled out, had a complete cover, big canvas cover that totally protected her all winter long and then she was professionally maintenanced, recommissioned and put back in the water for another sailing season. So when we purchased her, she was still like a brand new boat. Wow.
this galley is a great galley for doing gourmet cooking in. I don't mean just heating things up in that brand new microwave, but I mean full out cooking. She has a really deep freezer. She's got a big refrigerator. And in this particular model, those doors will open front and top side. So if you're healed, it's not going to stop you from cooking and your food's not going to spill out on the floor. Oh yeah. Do you just push it? Yeah. And then what's in here? She even comes with her original hunter dishes. Her Force 10 gimbal stove is easy to use, fully functional. Deep, double stainless steel sink so you can wash up all those dishes that you dirtied up while you were doing all your cooking. And that is a brand new, never used Rain Man water maker, not even out of the package. Right there? Yeah. All right, Leslie, what would you like the people to know about this beautiful salon? Oh gosh, it comfortably seats so many people. It's got brand new upholstered cushions that are of an incredible fabric. You can't stain it. Not with water, not with food. Awesome. And there's storage underneath? Yes, there's storage underneath the cushion, the uh, bench as well. We've got storage back there going on as well. Yep. Oh, these are beautiful curtains, by the way. Did you say these? These are brand new curtains. Ooh. There's every window in here has a curtain on it. So if you're beautiful. not living out at Anchor and you have to spend any time at all in a marina, you have total privacy on this boat. Yeah. The old Bose stereo system was removed from the boat, which also increased the storage quite tremendously in this side of the room. Mm -hmm. And a new Bose uh, bar style stereo that's Bluetooth was added on to the brand new HD smart TV. Ooh. So that's all been updated. So, lots of storage underneath the sofa. But it's, it's accessed underneath the cushion. Awesome. I that's okay. Awesome. This boat is has the updated Ocean Air screen covers and sliding hatches. And this is a, a real bonus for us uh, as far as uh, the screens and the hatch covers go. Our nav station is very comfortable, has lots of storage underneath. We have all of our electronics controlled from this area. It has the uh, VHF radio here as well as in the cockpit. There's also a brand new handheld VHF that goes with the boat. Now here's an important feature of the boat as well. This is a, a captain's log as well as a maintenance log. And it even has the instructions for how you start the boat and how you sail the boat so you don't forget anything like pulling out of your slip with the electric still attached which happens more often than you can imagine. So the maintenance log is very in-depth and in detail. There's nothing missed on the maintenance log. Awesome. It's even color-coded so you can immediately um, pick out what, hap what maintenance went on with the generator or what maintenance went on with the engine. So you can tell how often the oil's been changed and the maintenance has been taken care of there. That's incredible. You guys have taken excellent, <laughs> excellent care and documented everything on this boat. Amazing. And just in case people don't believe what's in the advertisement about our fuel economy with this boat, we have everything documented from the time that we purchased it as to where we bought the gas, how much fuel we purchased, and how far we went on that fuel. And remember, our generator is also running on that same diesel tank that our engine is. Wow. So, make, you know, make an appointment to come see us and check out our, our logs, but our, our entire 
anything that you could possibly need has been tracked in this book. And in the cupboard in the spare room, you're also going to find all of the operator manuals. So everything's in here from winches, uh, this is all the this is all the external. So everything is organized, your furlers, just everything external is in one maintenance book. Wow. And then we also have uh, everything that came from Hunter with all the schematics. So you can find and work find everything and work on the boat. And then of course here's the operator manuals for everything that's inside the boat from your air conditioning units. There's two different air conditioning units on this boat that both work very well. Uh, your water heater, all of your kitchen appliances, your stove, let, everything let is me, in here. Let me get, let me see if I got this right, Leslie. You're telling me that if I didn't know absolutely nothing about sailing a boat or if I didn't know absolutely nothing about how to run a boat, I could come over here and I could look at all these that's manuals right. and that's I right. could drive this boat right that's out of right. here. You have got the it monkey all. should be able to say I just spoke for not good at talking about that. Okay, that is we'll awesome. We'll leave the monkey out of it. We'll leave the monkey The monkey, monkey does not come with the boat. And no monkey. There's no monkey on the boat. Engine oil filter change at 1,406. Do you see a generator in here? Generator. Okay, there it is. Okay. As of today, the generator only has 968 hours on it and the engine has 1,406 hours on it. Where's that? What number is that? Oh, Down there it is. here. This page hasn't been typed in and color coordinated yet. Oh, oh well, I will there. forgive you for that, I suppose. <laughs> so this is the Captain's Quarters IE V-Berth. Tell me about it and tell me what you like. I love this bedroom. It has walk around queen size bed, so it's easy to make, easy to get in and out of. It has storage along both sides as well as the very important bookshelf behind the head. Lots of storage, lots of locker space. So that has a spring coil mattress with a memory foam topper on it, which makes it super comfortable to sleep on. And we have four large drawers beneath that are cedar lined, just like the lockers are. I forgot to mention that, but our lockers are cedar lined, so if your clothes stay fresh and bug free. <laughs> Storage underneath the floor, under the sole of the floor as well. Underneath the rugs, you lift that up and you'll find more places to stuff your extras when you go out on a long trip. Also has the ocean air screens, two very big hatches that are forward facing. So when you are underway or at anchor and you open those babies up, you don't need air conditioning. Very comfortable room in here. All right, what do we got here? This is the master bath and it is split. So you've got the head and counter on one side and you have the very spacious shower on the other side. Gotta have a bench and a shower for the ladies. On this side, I really like this little bathroom. The natural lighting that comes in is fantastic. It's got lots of storage space for all your uh, bathroom needs because of the double doors, you see all the way through the boat to the companionway. So you have a bird's eye view of everything going on on your boat. So if the kids are up wandering around and you think they might take off on you in the night, they aren't gonna get away with anything because you see it all. the VIP bathroom. Ooh, baby, so. So whoever has the, the bedroom or the stateroom to the aft of the boat right has the attached bathroom as well. And it is a full head with the bathroom, the shower, sink. Vanity. Very nice, very functional little bathroom. Tell me all about it. This is a Northern Lights generator. Starts and runs flawlessly every time. 
course, she's maintained very well, so we expect her to start and run right every time. And I imagine that you've got the records on that. We have every <laughs> record on the maintenance on this generator. She's kept clean, she's kept cool. This boat also has the accessory blower that blows the heat out of the engine and uh, generator compartment out the back of the boat to help keep this back bedroom from overheating when the engine's running. Outstanding. All right, and this is our 75 horsepower turbo Yanmar diesel engine. And again, she's another clean running little beast with great maintenance records. <laughs> always starts, always runs. Gotta love this boat for how absolutely reliable she is. And clean. Jeez, gonna eat off of that engine. All right. The dinghy goes with this boat. It is a 10 and a half foot walker bay. She has new Hypalon tubes and she's powered by a six horsepower Tohatsu motor. All right. This is also a deluxe model dinghy, so she's got the really comfortable wide seating with all the storage compartments and raised floor. That makes it a, a lot nicer to get around in. Finally, has a 66 pound Lumar style stainless steel anchor that is attached with around 340 feet of chain road. Tell me about the second anchor there, Cam. The secondary anchor on it is a Delta style plow and it has uh, about 30 feet of chain on it. 300 feet of three quarter inch nylon rope. There's a third anchor that's stored down in the anchor locker and it's a 44 pound Lumar claw and that one has no chain or rope, it's free. And I see a lot of canvas here, Leslie. Tell me about that. Oh boy, did I ever do a lot of sewing. There is a lot of Sumbrella marine grade canvas on this boat. Everything is covered on it. Every hatch, every port light, uh, the bimini. It's got it's got a new Dodger and a really beautiful isinglass on it. And so I made flannel lined isinglass covers that wrap all the way around the Dodger. But every every port light, every hatch, it's all protected. Beautiful. He did Everything. a really great Motors, job. Engines, the helm, oh. anything the sun can touch that might do damage. We made covers for. Look at that. She is not kidding. This boat is color coordinated for the designer in ye. <laughs> <laughs> got, even got a little matching grill cover. Oh, that! Oh, that is gorgeous. You got to, you got to view that one from the yeah, top. You have got to tell me about this. Look at that. Look at that grill cover. No <laughs> this alone man. here is gonna sell this boat. <laughs> no man will ever own a grill cover as nice as this. It oh. kind of looks like a crown cover. Oh, you, I mean, you, I man would man feel, like feel like the king. Royalty, <laughs> royalty, right there. <laughs> Finally, has all of her original Raymarine instruments. They all are fully functional, probably like the day she was new. She also has her original Raymarine radar that's also functional. She's got brand new three inch thick Sunbrella marine grade covered cushions throughout her entire cockpit that color coordinate with the helm covers. Leslie, where's the helm? Oh, this boat's remote control. That's the best <laughs> part. Okay, so she's not remote control. Whenever we want more space in the cockpit, we always pull that helm wheel off, and it's a nice collapsible one, and you see it strapped in underneath the top of that bimini, so it's out of the way. Well, that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the tour of this beautiful boat. If you think you might be interested in purchasing it, which I can't see why you wouldn't be, then I'll make sure you have the information to call and talk with Clark. He's the man you want to talk to about buying this beautiful boat.
Well, that was it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Leslie and I had a lot <laughs> of fun doing it. And I always enjoy working on projects with her. Love her to death. They're great in family. So, hey, get this video out to your friends. If you know anybody that's looking for a good boat for sale, have them take a look at it. And I guess that's it. I um, hope yeah. you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free. And it's, the, free. it's free. So yeah, please do it. Yep, it is free. All you, have, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and you can follow us along on our adventures. The next video, which is going to be out probably in the next week to two weeks, we'll have that bow thrust to repair, I promised you. So stay tuned. Come back for Fingers the next crossed. episode. Yeah. Thanks, folks. We love you. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for following us. And uh, have a great day. Be good to each other. Good time. See ya.